The last week for Halo has actually been pretty good for news, believe it or not. Leakers and data miners have been at work in restoring and finding cooked campaign assets, new weapons in the files potentially coming in the future, and how can we forget the insane forge builds that we see daily. At this point, the community are just keeping the relevance of this game alive, so as and when we get interesting updates, of course, I'll be sure to bring them to you guys as soon as I can. But wasting no time jumping straight in the first story of today, data miners. Man, they have been at work in the past week. Multiple assets have been restored and found in the game files, such as the Falcon, which was last featured in Halo Reach. A new piece of equipment called the Quantum Translocator, which will introduce a lot of new gameplay opportunities in competitive and the casual scene. Another one being the Sonar Pulse, which is essentially a fancier version of the threat sensor that spans over a larger surface area, potentially made for those gamers with the bigger maps, such as Big Team Battle and maybe to tanker. But Delta Index didn't stop there and found even more details around new weapons found in the files that are being actively updated as we speak by 343. Now these are placeholder images that you're seeing on the screen right now and some are probably taken directly from Halo 5. These are banished versions of the Covenant weapons that we all know and love. However, it's not confirmed as to when these are coming, if it will be Season 3 or even sometime next year. However, Delta Index managed to somehow get an early build of the SMG playable. It looks very similar to the one that was in Halo 5. It's probably just a leftover asset to be honest, but I'm open to anything new coming to Halo Infinite at this point and the SMG would be a good one. Now let's move on to campaign stuff and this gets me pretty upset in the sense that this is so damn cool and I would have loved to have seen this whilst playing through the campaign. So Delta Index have found loads of cut wildlife and different enemy types from Halo Infinite's original campaign vision, one being an enemy called the Crusher. The Crusher is a tank-like mini-boss whose movement is extremely slow, along with their attacks as well, but would absolutely wreck you if you were to be hit by one. This would have been an insane enemy type that was just rolling around the map, or even a hostile mob. This enemy type may have not been a part of the Banished specifically, and may have just served as ring wildlife, with maybe the Banished capturing them and trying to use them to advantages against the UNSC, which I would have really liked to see something like that. And interesting fact for you guys as well, this was in fact the thing we heard walking around in the reveal trailer back in 2018. Oh man, what could have been for this game? It actually makes me a bit depressed. The second, Prometheans. Love them or hate them, they were a massive part in Halo 5 and it's pretty stunning that they weren't mentioned or even referenced at all within Halo Infinite. Now, Delta did mention that these are most likely Halo 5 assets that have been left over. However, it's also useful to mention, and very interestingly enough, that there were over nine different files with different bits of audio and also actual gameplay within the game files of Halo Infinite. This gets me thinking that maybe this was another cut concept pretty early on in the concept phase of Halo Infinite, along with as well that essentially Halo Infinite is using a lot of the assets and its engine is heavily based off that of Halo 5. So again, a lot of the assets will just be transferred transferred over to this new game and this could have just been one left over there as well. But even Delta themselves said they weren't sure if this was leftover assets or new assets created and stored which were potentially cut as mentioned but who knows. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Would you have wanted Prometheans in Halo Infinite? I definitely would have if they were written a bit differently and their AI was improved drastically. Also an interesting thing as well, do you remember that Rhino that we've seen in the 2018 reveal trailer? That was also found by the team called Halo Leaks and it proves it was going to be in the game and it was cut. So to all of you guys out there that were telling me that there was no wildlife in Halo Infinite and that the concepts were just concepts, Swivel on that one. Okay, so now let's swiftly move on to some multiplayer things. An image of the Tatanka files were leaked and this further adds to the point that this mode is a battle royale mode of some kind and probably leaning more towards a battle royale or the traditional battle royale mode. Files like Storm Boundaries, Downstate and Drop Sequence are a good indication of this. However, some of the other file names such as Operation Horde might suggest otherwise or indicate that they'll have their own spin on that of a traditional battle royale mode. This mode is rumored to come out sometime next year and I hope it's good because the community needs something right now. Now topping it off for today, Forge. Infinite Forges has been at it again creating some insane Forge worlds, but one in particular that got me seriously impressed and pretty buzzed about for the future of this game. We learned last week that Forge might be coming to Halo Infinite's campaign and the Zeta Halo map specifically, and today I came across this created by Infinite Forges. This is the campaign map Zeta Halo and Forge combining to make something just absolutely stunning. Imagine this on a larger scale. Someone will do this for the whole map, adding so much more detail where it is 
is foliage trees wildlife making it just look amazing changing the filter settings and just changing this map from the base canvas to something incredible potentially if the wildlife like the rhinos are all, and things like that are in there as well in the forge mode we can add those in too and essentially create the vision of 343 for them and do that through the forge mode on campaign adding the rhinos adding the crushers and all of these other things as well this would take out the campaign to another level and make you want to play through it and explore in different ways adding easter eggs around the place as well that you can look at and maybe even solve some riddles and things by scripting doors to open here and there giving new stuff this is endless this would be absolutely amazing if 343 gave us the freedom to create and script our own campaign zeta halo map i really hope this is the case i really hope this isn't just a bug or a glitch to get onto the campaign map within forge let me know your thoughts and opinions down below the guys but please 343 let us do this but guys that's going to wrap it up for today as usual leave your comments and thoughts on the topics down below don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more and leave a like if you love halo as well but without further ado we'll see you all in the next video